What's up, y'all? It's your boy Brom 300. Yeah, I cut the frohawk off. It's back to the old Caesar feed, whatever you want to call it. But that's not what it's about. I went shopping again for the summer, so I gotta show y'all the stuff I got. Y'all love the stuff I showed you, especially the Chris Van Nass stuff. So I'm gonna show you some more of the kicks I got from Chris Van Nass. I can't say I just got these, got these a little bit ago, but I wanted to show you them anyway. Alright, I uh, got some blue leather, I guess you could say navy blue and gray leather Chris Van Nash high tops. I gotta show you these because they're kind of unique in the style. Got like a little belt at the top on the ankle area. Um, and it also is really easy to put your foot in because you can kind of... Uh, Slip your leg down. If you hear that noise in the background, that's not a dog. That's actually my son. Should be asleep right now, but it's all good. So, yeah, let me show you again. Close up of that. I'll take some pictures of it so you can see it. Uh, one thing about these sneakers, uh, they're really soft leather. So, if you got to be careful because they scuff real easily. Alright? Um... Got another pair. These shits right here. These shits right here. Yo, my man. These are the best Chris Van Nuys sneakers I've ever seen. If you can't tell, the laces are crazy in these. So that's like one of the biggest reasons I got them because I, I know no sneaker company is doing laces like this. Also, I like the suede combined with this like real thick you know bald leather I don't even know what it's called but I know it's leather but it's just real cool that gray dark gray and light gray combination looks really cool especially on the uh, sole of the sneaker another pair of high tops real cool sneaker I've rocked these one time so far so definitely a, a sneaker to wear out when you're going out hitting the town Um, that suit I had on in my last video I got from uh, Why Not Boutique. I went back there just to get me a couple of things. Um, I got me a shirt from there. Uh, the designer is Steven Land. I got me red shirt. I guess you could say red and white. I was going to wear this on the 4th of July, but didn't. And it's a French style shirt. If you don't know what French style is, that means you can put cufflinks in it. So... Just to give y'all a view of how that's going to look on me. I'm actually going to wear that out on the, the night of the Jamaican or reggae parade that they have in here in D.C. and Baltimore. So, yeah, this, this is going to look real slick on me, you know. Uh, like I said before, you got some cufflinks in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Yo, I'm a cufflink fanatic. I got, I have like... Right now, probably 10 cufflinks, and I'm going to be getting more. I picked up another pair of cufflinks from a, a spot in Rundle Mills. can't remember the name of the store, but just to show y'all a pair of the cufflinks I got. I'll take a picture of that so you can see those. It's actually um, Swarovski Crystal and also a pink, I guess you call crystal in the middle. Not diamonds. Ain't nobody for no fucking diamond that big. If I did, I wouldn't be making videos. But uh, just to show y'all once again, I'm going to take a picture of that. Um, and just so everybody know, Chris Van Ash um, are a little expensive. But if you got the money, you like fashion, high fashion, go get them, go pick them up. These were uh, $5.50. I got these actually on the sale. They were 450 but I got them for 300 and the Why Not Boutique is definitely a spot you got to check out. They got the best suits there. You know, you can get a suit, literally suit, tie, shirt for like $150, $200. I got this shirt. It was uh, 40 bucks, and I got a tie to go with this shirt. The shirt, the tie was 
twenty dollars and I actually got another tie they gave me that one for free so you know definitely check that out it's in DC uh, 14th and U it's called Why Not Boutique alright y'all that's pretty much all the stuff I got um, just wanted to let y'all know I'm doing another show got one coming up in Virginia I have another comedy show I'm doing in New York so if you're in New York I'll definitely let you know when I'm doing my show so you can come out support laugh your ass off laugh your balls off like I always say so, until next time, alright, I'm out. Peace.